This bit. Long. Oh, no! Oh, no! I did run Drawing into pass. that. What's that lady's name? That I yeah, that, that coach out. over there. It was there. the hardest hit in football I've ever had. Oh, yeah, she weighs about 60 kilos. Oh, yep. She smashed you. <laughs> she got it. I was feeling it was off after your post try celebration. I've seen you on the sting a few times. <laughs> the, the Willie Goanna. I don't know. I don't know. <laughs> Taking a little bit of GI, Greg Inglis. No. Well, where, where'd the Goannas come from? You know, when you look at the logo, this sort of. That's muscle good. bound sort of a goanna with a little bit of um, you know would I be correct in saying that? you guys are wearing a bit of ink too these days is that right or <coughs> uh, yeah that <laughs> might have been a decision <laughs> 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 I remember hearing a story about that, that, that yeah. is nuts yeah. Right? Yeah, absolutely. Yeah. where's yours we're words? hardcore <laughs> so Matt you got to get a jo- you got to go to jo- yeah, well, Johnston Donahue here tramp stamp by the end of the week I told you 12 months in you got to sorry how's your leg taking a breaking down didn't touch on right. that, did yeah. we? Injury. Yeah. yeah, I went and played yeah footy at Taz, and they yeah. gave me a position on the wing. And it's I not actually okay. Yep. Can I tell the story? I wasn't there, but I heard the real story. <laughs> he was running around. He hit a, was hit a gap out. and yeah, yeah. like started skylarking straight yes. after his story. Ah. He got surrounded by seventeen-year-olds that picked him up within three <laughs> metres. That is not true. In that space of time, he said he's running <laughs> and literally looked down. And his legs all of a sudden were nowhere beneath him. So <laughs> hamstrings <laughs> gone, back gone. Anyway, it's all right, we'll kick off again. <laughs> So beers and better, uh, we're just about to start the new touch season for summer, so we thought we'd get Paul Brady, thanks mate, Thank you, mate. Willie Dow to join us and have a quick chat, you, and um, thanks, yeah, just discuss the upcoming thanks, season. Thanks for having us, Tom. Right, there's everyone, shook hands, we're good? Yeah. Yep. Righto, right. job's right. <laughs> <laughs> um, guys, thanks for joining us. Um, we're a little bit short of breath because you've just run us through our paces, and um, looks like Tom has not improved his ball playing ability, but anyway. You can't, you can't work miracles, can you? <laughs> so, that's it, a lot of enthusiasm. Yeah, that's where it ends. Um, look, we quick kick off with the same question every time, which is a little bit of your background. So both of you guys aren't from Gunnar initially, so it might be good to start where you were born and what it was like growing up. We might start with Braids and then we'll move over to Willie. Uh, yeah, thanks guys for the opportunity to have a, ch- have a yarn today. Um, I grew up in Sydney, northwestern Sydney. I'm um, out in the Hawkesbury, so semi-rural sort of an area, and um, yeah, nice, nice place to grow up. Played a lot of sport as a kid and all those sorts of things, but moved up here with Simone um, 17 years ago now, seven, seven and a half years, years ago. So yeah, yeah, 2007. I remember. That. Um, haven't found an excuse to leave yet, so um, we're still here. Um, it's been really good for us, mate, and obviously being part of community associations like this is, um, just helps you get into the community itself. So yep. yeah, it's been good. Nice one. And Willie, you weren't too far away though from memory. No, no, I wasn't. I uh, born and bred out at Clay Keep It. Yep. <clears throat> But we didn't um, have much to do with Gunnar. It was all Tamworth. Tamworth uh, yeah. Went to Farah with, with the big fella here. Um, some good memories over there. But yeah, I, I went to Manila Primary School. It wasn't until yeah I met my wife now, Beck. Um, she was working at Bogabri, um, so I moved back from Sydney where I was working um, after having done uni there. T- teaching down there. Yeah, right? yeah, yeah, yeah okay. teaching there, and then and got caught a gig here. Yep. Um, teaching French at the high school. And yeah. oh, très bien, merci. <laughs> oh, there you go. L'accent, I'm parfait. I was hoping we could stitch you up there. Know you know it in French, yeah. but you've, yeah, you've, you've pulled through. <laughs> um, yeah, so no, I moved here then, and, and yeah, haven't looked back, and, and we that's where we kind of met Paul and Simone playing touch, and that's where I started playing touch. But amongst all the other sports um, here in, in town, it was yeah. amazing. Like moving to town like this, you think, oh, even though I'm not far away, or from not far away, it was it was still I, I still didn't know anyone. Yeah. So through sport, we met everyone. Like, yeah, yeah. yeah. Softball, netball, yeah. touch, um, yeah, the whole the whole throwing yourself into it. Yeah. Well, Matty might ask the next question. Yeah. Mm-hmm. So I mean, I might start with Paul. Then what, what got you into touch football here in Gunnar, and how did you become involved in the committee? Oh, here in Gunnar yeah. specifically was exactly what Will said. So we we all sort of moved to Gunnar at the same time, and there just so happened to be a, a big group of young teachers that were all 
about the same age and you know same relationship statuses and all those sorts of things so we all of a sudden we had this nucleus of a friendship group um, and we all got together and started playing touch footy okay. um, and yeah I think we're like Simone and I and Beck and Will are, are the originals <laughs> from back in 2007 8 when we kicked off so it's been fantastic um, you know obviously it takes a lot of uh, voluntary sort of efforts, as you know, from your soccer um, yep. involvement and things like that, that, you know, people put a lot into running associations and keeping comps going and all that sort of stuff. And obviously we were the benefactor of that. Um, but then, you know, your, I guess your responsibility changes to that of actually being on the committee yourself and, and taking over um, some of those responsibilities and trying to drive it ahead as well and, and keep it moving for the community. So I that's, think that's, that's what I've it. seen. Like the growth in, in Touch and Gun last has been great. You know, mm. over the last couple of years, it's really, especially with junior development behind us, you know, that's been a big focus for you guys. Would you agree? Yeah. 100%. Were you getting um, too old to play rugby as well? Is that what? <laughs> that was, no, absolutely, mate. That was mm. definitely part of it. I made my... We've been telling him yeah. to give up for years, mate, to be <laughs> yes. honest. So. Um, I think our jobs aren't terribly physically taxing, you know, and um, we've got young families and, you know, it's it's about, it's very much a social thing as well, but it's a way to stay active and keep your body moving keep and all moving. those sorts of things. Um, touch footy is a natural transition out of rugby and into a, a footy-related sort of skill set, so that was good. But, um, no, you're right, look, you know, the way I see local associations you know you you take over as as a custodian I guess to some degree and you've got the legacy of someone else's efforts there in front of you and yep, definitely I think at the, at the bare minimum your responsibility is to at least improve on that and, exactly. and for me it's not our association it's the towns yep. and um, it's a great outlet it's very inclusive it's you know male and females it's very family oriented it's all those sorts of things so it's a great way of giving back to a, a town that you know has embraced us so that's probably what's driven it yeah and Willie I'll probably skip your response to that because you sort of answered oh, a little yes. bit in regards to moving to town as a teacher and what, why you got involved but Matt touched on a point that I wanted to bring up Braid you mentioned obviously I played touch for a long time with you guys as well for a long time but it, it was always strong in town, like we've had a good strong association that was set up pretty well. But I must admit that the junior development and also um, the movement into the rep uh, teams as well is something I wanted to discuss. I know you've had a fair hand in that, Will, so can you talk about that a little bit more, mate? Yeah, look, it's been um, extremely uh, rewarding, Luke. The, the Paul said, oh, I think we, not just Paul, I mean, we had discussions a few years ago. Um, so this hasn't just kind of been a, a two-year, you know, um, thing where it's... It hasn't just been a two-year thing where it's um, he, he, um, come out of nowhere. Been Five years or so, yeah. We, when we were talking, because we, we played senior rep um, and we had an Opens team and we had a 30s team, we've had a 40s team. And then the Opens, for some reason, we, we couldn't... We kind of had a bit of a lull there where we couldn't get anyone... And the discussion then turned to, well, where do we get them from? Yeah. Um, and the obvious the obvious answer there is that we, we've got to set the wheels in motion to, to get to have that coming through. Yeah. So so a five-year plan of sorts. And then I suppose just naturally too, I, I, I saw I saw some real scope in that, um, being a teacher myself and yeah. knowing a lot of the kids, yeah. having kind of been, you know, to all three public schools in town, the high school and um, Gunnedah South and now public, I was able to to draw on that, yeah, be able to tap into it. Can I ask, obviously, the rep is one thing for the kids, mm. which mm. I know we've got the girls at the moment training yeah. behind us, getting ready for what, what carnival are they off to? It's a state cup? Well, yeah, yeah, end of Fe um, middle of February, yeah. there, there's a it's junior a state cup. Awesome. Yeah. Yeah. Um, but more broadly, like because it, not every kid's going to make the rep side, no. but I've, see it, I've seen it down here firsthand mm. on, a, on a Monday, Monday morning, yeah. I think it is. Yeah. Monday afternoon, I should say. Yeah. Um, what sort of broad numbers are you, you're seeing now turn up for that? Um, we're seeing around, I think we've had 220, yep. is, yeah, 240 on our biggest summer comp, which was our last one, I think. Yep. So 240 players, um, and that started a few years ago with with 
you know, a few of us just getting 50 or 60 kids down. Yeah, yeah. no, it's um, awesome. and, and just throwing a few teams together and then playing each other, you know, a few times over a term. Yep. So it's grown from there, yep. Jono, and, and, and we're pretty proud of, you know, being able to show them that rep pathway. And that hasn't come, you know, easily either. You know, it, it takes coaches, it takes then referees. So once you want to take, you know, even two teams away to a state carnival, you've got to provide two refs okay. plus an extra. Yeah. So there's three three other people you've got to find. Yeah. Uh, you need a, a coach for each team. You need a, an, an adult, a, a parent that can be a man. It, lock it. So yeah, as yeah. you can, you you'd yeah, appreciate yeah. that too. That yeah. everything that happens around that kind of stuff just to get one team. Let alone we had six teams last That's year, which fantastic. is yeah, yeah for really a town our size. I'd imagine mm. like, and, and I've only been to one carnival with you guys many years ago. But yeah. like, it's a it's a big organisation when you get down there. There's a lot of big yeah. teams down there, and little old Gunnar's punching well above its weight. Got in respect to that. My, no, no, not yet. Okay. Why are you interested? Yeah, Excellent. Speak to Luke. So yeah. <laughs> <laughs> always happy for money, mate. Yeah. Um, I just couldn't see any branding. That's all. Yeah. Well, oh, it's, it's a so it's an opportunity. Oh, yeah. He's to rubbing be, me and he's, he's yeah. yeah. <laughs> um, to be fair, we well, I need that. Yeah, more I was going to say. Mate. Yeah. Um, to be fair, we do get some support. So yeah. the railway hotel's been very good to us. Yeah. Um, yeah. You know, recently we've had some sponsorship money come to us through, you know, applications and us being proactive. But yeah. there's there's certainly more in more interest, I guess, in supporting um, yep. the the association as a whole. And if we can sort of funnel that money through or feed it through, so that we can subsidise some of this, because yep. uh, we're all parents, we've all got kids, and we understand the commitment financially and otherwise that it takes to get kids involved in sports. So. If we can sort of utilise that money effectively and subsidise some things and give them a pathway and an opportunity, then, you know, that's happy days. We're not, not there to make a million dollars out of it. It's just really giving yeah, kids an opportunity, that's opportunity. to play. Yeah. Yeah. We'll move on to the next question, which is the, the Gunnar Goennas. Now, I know this came about, um, not too sure how many years ago, but semi-recently. Yeah, yeah. Um, <laughs> and I had a feeling it was off after your post-try celebration. I've seen you on the sting a few times. <laughs> the, the Willie Goanna. I don't know. I don't know. <laughs> Taking a little bit of GI, Greg Inglis. No. Or where, where'd the Goannas come from? Because it's not a traditional Gunnar mascot. We're Bulldogs, we're Devils, we're mm. all those sorts of things. But the, yeah. the Goanna, was there a, a brainstorming session that created that? It was. There was, yeah. there was a lot of sort of toing and froing around it. Um, so we looked at Obviously, there's a lot of teams with the Bulldogs yep. as their as their mascot, things like that. We really wanted to have a, a, a rebrand because we were taking teams to rep carnivals and stuff. So we wanted to sort of increase our profile, if you like, and, mm -hmm. and things. We looked at the Galahs. We didn't think that that was appropriate. <laughs> Obviously, there's a lot of koalas around yeah. town. We yeah. didn't think that that was Too many koalas intimidating really enough. Like, well, you don't. You don't. Exactly. Um, You're not yeah. going against the side going, look out, the Galahs yeah. are on the way. Yeah. Like, yeah. It's not gonna, doesn't like, instill a whole right. heap of fear. Yeah. No. No, no, yeah. no, no, no. So, yeah. look, um, the reality is we were looking to, to um, differentiate ourselves from, from, say, the Bulldogs yep. and do something different. We uh, really wanted to find something that connected us to the local ind indigenous community. Yep. And that's where the Goanna yeah, came nice. in. Um, okay. And, you know, when you look at the logo, this sort of that's muscle good. bound sort of a Goanna with a little bit of, um, you know. Would I be correct in saying you guys are wearing a bit of ink too these days? Is that right? Or? Uh, yeah, that <laughs> might have been a decision. <laughs> 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 I remember hearing yeah. a story about it. Yeah, 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 absolutely. Yeah. Where's yours? We're <laughs> hardcore. So oh, Matt, you got to get a jo you got to go to yeah, well, Johnston Donahue <laughs> tramp stamp by the end of the week. I told you, twelve months in, you got to commit. So that's a decision. <laughs> um, well, a couple more questions to go, and like, I don't know if you guys have any spare time, but what, what do you do in your downtime? What, what relaxes you apart from coming and sweating it out and going to touch carnivals? Uh, well, unlike, not unlike yourself, we, we try and get to a game of golf here and there. Yep. Um, Who's we, the better golfer out of you two? Oh, geez, there's no comparison, mate. Paul's yeah. got half, <laughs> half the handicap I've got. Oh, is he? Yeah, half the yeah. <laughs> well, that could be part of it. <laughs> But his handicap does come in handy sometimes. Yeah, yeah. If you're playing for that. money, he's going to stand yeah, over yeah, that putt. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So, so. Oh, look, mate. In, in all honesty, um, yeah, golf golf's a, a big one that a group of us try. It's a great social outlet. It's, yeah. it's an ability to, or it's an opportunity, I should say, to switch off and just, you know, disconnect from the week and yep. and talk some smack with the with the with the mates and all that sort of stuff. So that's one thing. I think for me, I travel a lot with work, so just being at home yep. really is is really important just 
you know, being with the kids and with Simone and all that sort of stuff. You're both, running your farm? I was going to say, yeah, both of you guys yeah. are off. you got a little block too, don't you, Willie? Really? Um, I'm out on the family farm, mate. Oh, so I'm lucky. Okay, you shouldn't be yeah. a school teacher. No. Full-time farmer. Yeah. No, no, Part-time not a teacher. Yeah, look, well, you Dad, don't have any spare time when you get home. Well, it sounds sad, I know. This this is my, my part-time yeah. kind of stuff. I yeah. really love it. Yeah. I get a buzz out of it. Um, and my kids are still in it, so I... You know, there's still that, but apart from that, I think you know, being a teacher, that that uh, I think that career in itself, you, you get a kicks out of seeing kids go from from yeah. here yeah. to there, yeah. and then you get a kick out of seeing growth. You get a kick out of seeing rep. You get a kick out of you know the kids that you've known since they were this big, yeah. being this big now, being able to do this when they they, they couldn't even you know uh, yeah. pick up a ball kind of thing. So yeah. that's and that's my spare time. I enjoy seeing the growth in it. I was going to throw out there before. I, our 240 players um, in the Gunnar Juniors, yeah, we come up against clubs that have 240 teams in their yeah. juniors. Yeah. And, yeah. and so being going to those carnivals and seeing our kids compete at that level against people that are so much better and they've got so much more, Support. a bigger pool to, yeah. to choose from, yeah. you go, look, I'm, I'm glad my, I actually come from here because my kids are getting these opportunities yeah. that they might not otherwise get. Make yeah, yeah. Yeah. yeah, so yeah. They're, they're representing their, their, their town, they're representing their club, they're representing themselves, your yeah. family as well. Like And, and like Paul said, it's and, and soccer would be the same. It's yeah. such... I think we've not deliberately, but it's the, the culture in the club has has become a family orientated Definitely. club. You know, we've got um, you know some parents that have put their hand up to come on the committee and do a couple of extra things. Yep, it takes a load off myself and Paul and other administrators. So that and we we yeah we we really encourage that. You know, usually there's three or you know all three kids play. Yep touch um <clears throat> when do you find time to run your farm well that's just it. Oh, you didn't let me answer oh, but sorry, I, yeah I, I'd, I'd love to i'd love to say it. i love a, a run a farm as well yeah. tom but i don't No, okay. my father that's all my dad yeah, yeah. Okay. so i'm still out there I, I pretty much just moved out there for the lifestyle yeah. mate yeah. when are you getting yeah. rid of him as you know <laughs> he's we're just waiting he's sitting by <laughs> sitting by you know <laughs> not at all no he's it's great yeah that's what i thought he was no uh, they're, they're not overly interested, but what I was interested in making sure they grew up there. Yeah, yeah that's and, and I think moving out there when our first, um, our first, no, we had our third, just had our third. Our first one was only a couple of years old, and, and that was kind of that we said, right, well, let's let's get out there. Yeah. If we can, there's a plot out there. Let's get can, and it's been amazing. Yeah. Like we've yeah. recently. Oh, just buggies, and my dad takes my kids away, and yeah, and, yeah. No, and for them to do that. Yeah, good. yeah, we know how good yeah. it is growing yeah. up on a farm and yeah. the space and the the freedom and the the air and the yeah, yeah. and that so that that was that was one thing I made sure we did. Yeah. So that that's pretty close to my heart out there. We're we've been out there for a few generations now. And you yeah. keep it, so yeah. yeah, it's it's pretty close to to yeah my roots and my blood. Yeah. yeah. Yep, nice one. Mm. Um, well, we've got an esky full of beer to drink, so we better wrap this up. Yep. Um, and lastly, we always just finish off. If you've got a question for us, it certainly doesn't have to be related to business. Anything you can think of, mm. you can you can send in. I did send you this uh, yep. question yep. a couple of hours ago. Well, I've got one. Expect- I've got one. What is it? How much? How much are you going to give us? Oh, much off the dog dog yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Two and a half percent. Your dad That's might all. be watching you. Right? <laughs> <laughs> no, we'll, we'll sponsor you. Yeah, yeah. Oh, a touch. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, yeah, yeah. yeah. I thought yeah. you meant how much you want Just for your farm. I was no, like, mate, <laughs> come on. <laughs> Yeah, I think I think um, is, that's why these beers in the esky. We can have that can conversation. We, have, we'll make some, we want the front. We don't want the. That's like, going to be pretty expensive. Actually, mate. well, you got to get another yeah, tattoo. Yeah, as yeah, Matt's yeah. committing to a tattoo. Yeah, so yeah. 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 Well, I guess I guess my question. It's not a question to you guys per se, but more to the audience that's potentially listening. Is how do we how do we work with other associations to keep it growing? Because for me, the beauty of touch football it doesn't conflict. Like our summer summer comp is our biggest comp, so it doesn't. Um, sort of conflict with soccer, league or rugby in terms of other junior sports and their programs and it's um, to me it's quite a complimentary skill set and, and all those sorts Definitely. of things Good fitness. Um, really inclusive for the parents but you know the big the big um, connection point for me is trying to work with our other associations in town to try and leverage so each other's organisations 100% yeah, like, definitely. you yeah. know put our calendars together yeah. and really create um, 
yeah, just a just a, a bigger beast that yeah. you know that continues to grow and, yeah. and helps the kids even more. So that that would be my question to the audience. Definitely, listening. I think so. Yeah. Particularly junior sport. I mean, as you said, the skill set. I mean, obviously, we, particularly with league and union, but yeah. even soccer. You know, I mean, the fitness playing touch yeah, exactly. is. I mean, I love Oztag too. Don't get me wrong, but nothing gets your fit like touch. You know, it's a, it's it's constant. It's a dirty word. So, yeah. Sorry, did I say that? <laughs> yeah. We have been, oh, that'd be not the O word. <laughs> Jeez. <laughs> We've got right. next week. Haven't we? That's it. Yeah. Sorry. We're, yeah, this is a bit awkward, but we're gonna talk to them next week. <laughs> Their season's around the corner too. Yeah, yeah. Anyway. No. Look. Um. In saying that. It's good timing this this whole chat because our, our comp, the the team and um, individual nominations and registrations are open right now. So we need yeah, some more men's more teams because everyone's do. breaking down. Well, yes. you know, I'm I'm starting a, another team up or the young boys and the 16s good. rep team. So yeah. um, you're right. We do need to we need to grow the comp and keep it moving. So I've got yeah. another question. Sorry, yeah. how's your leg? Speaking of breaking down, no, yeah, we didn't touch on right? that, did yeah. we? Injury. Yeah. yeah, I went and played yeah footy at Taz and. Yeah. gave me a position on the wing. And it's I not actually up. okay. Yep. Can I tell the story? I wasn't there, but I heard the real story. He was running around. He hit, it, was hit a gap out. and yeah, yeah. Like started skylarking straight yes. after his story. Uh-huh. He got surrounded by 17 year olds that picked him up within three metres. <laughs> that is not true. In that space of time, he said he's running and literally looked down, and his legs all of a sudden were nowhere beneath him. So, <laughs> hamstrings gone, back gone, <laughs> just before a punters weekend and couldn't play golf. So, <laughs> yeah. 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 So, Tom's touch crew is well and truly done. No, no, I'm coming so. back. I was going to say, we need more male players, yep. yeah. 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 We'd be happy to have you. Oh, so what's the lowest girls? grade you have now? Is it like <laughs> yeah. the junior, yeah, 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 yeah. grade? Yeah, that yep. Yep. Well, you yeah. might you might fit in at juniors yeah. on Monday night. Oh, yeah. 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 Start with the basics. I did run Drawing into that. What's that lady's name that I Yeah, that, that coach over there. It was there. the hardest hit in football I've ever had. Oh. Yeah. She weighs about 60 Terrible. kilos. Oh. Yep. She smashed you. Yeah. She got on. Yeah. But I did run into it. Yeah. Right, on that violent note, we might wrap it up. Thank you very much. Thank you very much, gentlemen. Thanks, Thanks, Tom. Appreciate it.